Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another trading session. So today we're gonna work with a couple indicators and support and resistance, and that's it. We're just gonna keep it simple as possible and let's see how much we're gonna make today. Uh, so as you can see in the screen, we are uh, doing OTC. It is the weekend. I have my favorite stochastic oscillator, same uh, standard setup. 10, 3, and 5. You might have to change that if it's not already. And then uh, we're going to add another indicator that's not really necessary, but I want to add it anyway, and that's moving average. And we're going to change it to 200 period and EMA or exponential moving average. Change the styles, make it white, and make it 2 pixels so we can see it. Don't know what is going on. <laughs> Uh, with the chart But yeah, it's doing its thingamajig. That's weird um, And that's only just to guide us to see where we're at with the trend uh, whether it's ranging or going up or down and Keep it at uh, candlesticks and at 15 seconds and The expiration time will vary, but we are going to go ahead and pick our currency pairs We're going to pick the highest paid ones and since it's OTC majority of them are 92% which is awesome so I'm just gonna pick each one you don't have to do that uh, if you have two or three currency pairs it's actually much better if you keep it minimal uh, but I just want to have some options so right now we have Australian dollar and the Canadian dollar and just based on this it looks like we might be getting a downtrend and I think uh, two minutes actually will be enough based on the oscillator stochastic it looks like it's going down and and he, as you can see it's going down here as well and it just broke through the support level which is not the main support level but it is a support level and typically when it does that you can pick an expiration of one to two minutes but i want to be safer uh, this time around so we'll do two minutes and let's just see if uh, we win this trade let's go Okay, eight seconds left. This is actually a kind of a weak signal in my opinion. It's cutting it close. This could have gone the other way, but we did win that one. I was confident we would, but uh, there are better signals. So a win is a window and profit is profit. Let's go ahead and uh, compound this. 1920 will be our next one. And let's go take a look at another chart here. Okay guys, so we got the Australian uh, Swiss franc. And it's another similar situation in a way. So we're going to wait to see if it breaks through this uh, support level. It's not the main support level uh, because the main one's still way below it. But if it breaks it, we are going to do a one minute down trade. Or if our oscillator turns around and looks like it's a bearish engulfing pattern. This is actually going to go up. So let's do that. And I accidentally hit it twice because of my jittery fingers. But hopefully we win this one because if we don't, I just lost about over almost 40 bucks. But I think we'll win this one. Let's go. Okay, four, three, two, one, zero. We won that one. That's very cool. Just the way I like it. Again, that was an accident. Actually, I meant to just do one trade there, but wins a win. All right, so that's technically three, three trades already. 
Let's go ahead and compound this again. 3686 this is the next one up. 3686. This is why I love pocket option. You can see where you um, made your last trade and then your profit. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so yeah, um, based on this actually, it looks like it's uh, we're still in the same currency pair, but the overall trend is uh, going up and then now I think it's starting to range. But I'm gonna skip this for now and look at another currency pair. Okay, we have another currency pair here that I chose. It's the Swiss franc and Japanese yen. And it looks like it's trying to go up. This is um, a resistance line from about a few minutes or hours ago. And it looks like, based on the candle and based on my oscillator here, that it might bounce up and try and reach that resistance line eventually. Uh, but in the moment, that uh, looks like it's trying to uh, go down. And it's got some strong downward candlesticks. But if we see a bearish engulfing pattern, and that's the when you get a green candle that is bigger than the previous red candle, then most likely you have a chance uh, of it going up. And if that is coupled with the stochastic going up as well from the oversold position, then most likely it's going to go up. So we're just going to wait a little bit more uh, patiently here and then probably do a two minute uptrade. But I want to hold off for now and see where this will go. It might not, it might be going down. So here's a support level right here. It might be trying to reach the support level right here as well. I don't think it's going to make it that far down though. Uh, Trida, whoop, jumping around. Let's see here, I think there's more touches here. There's a very good chance it might actually try and reach the bottom. Just might. So I might do a down trade based on this, which I will do right now. And let's just see if I made the right choice. Let's go. Okay, we got eight seconds left and looks like I did make the right decision. It was tempting to, you know, if I wasn't doing technical analysis, I would have chose this to go up. And at first I thought it was gonna go up. Uh, and thankfully I trusted my instincts here and just looking at the chart and studying it a little bit more and saw that it will go down. But um, with our last trade here, I think it will go up eventually um, if it breaks through this support level or it might do a pullback it will probably go up because it has to go up it's been down for a little bit um, but it could go up but let's looking at this I think it's got this trying to go up now oh two minutes crap I should have done a, a one minute you know, that's a mistake right there. That's the second mistake I did. You know, first one was hitting it twice on accident. Uh, but maybe that was another blessing in disguise, another mistake that well, I'm glad to have made. I don't know, because the last candles could very well go in our the opposite favor or not in our favor. So I hope uh, two minutes was enough because one minute would have been better, I think. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Let's go. Yeah, 
one minute would have been enough here. And I'm actually going to bet big here to make up for it. Because I think it's going to go down here. Hopefully that's this is a, a good choice because this is actually pretty dumb. You shouldn't be doing this where you bet uh, a huge amount even though if you're sure because uh, it could go the other way. Very well go the other way. So hopefully it broke this mini support level. So hopefully uh, we'll make, we made the right decision. Let's go. Okay, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom, that was close, guys. That was close. That was, uh, even though I was sure, that was something I don't recommend beginners do. And again, I keep repeating it. I am still a beginner technically, but I was 90% uh, sure that was gonna go my way. I was just, uh, yeah, I meant to do one minute, like I said earlier, from my last trade, that would have been, uh, it but i just knew i without blowing my balance i could have bet the whole 100 percent there but like i said that last candle man it's always that last candle i tell you um but yeah what a rush <laughs> so let's go back down to i think uh, we have enough for a 15 dollar investment for the next uh video so we still want to make sure we are um protecting our account here and that's not a bad um profit uh, that's almost that's like 99 dollars profit about 100 if you want to count the change in there so let's just say 100 round it up so yeah 100 dollars uh we did uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten trades wow i mean so yeah, $100 profit for today. I am happy about that. We did that in what? Almost uh, 20 minutes. I mean, think about it. What job will give you that kind of money in 20 minutes? Not sweating, not working as hard. You know, you just have to use some, uh, some knowledge and skill, a little bit of skill and practice and, you know, maybe some anxiety here and there, uh, depending who you are. And yeah, hundred dollars in twenty minutes. Not bad. So there you go. All right, I'm happy with this trade. We're gonna close it here. Uh, yeah. So as always, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, uh, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And as always, protect your account. Don't be greedy. Don't be impatient. Be smart about your money, and you'll profit sooner than later. So until the next video, guys. Stay casual and God bless. Bye-bye.